Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Dumb Laws from the Grave. I'm your host, Grave Knives, coming to you from the Grave's Court. Today, we're going to be checking out some dumb laws from a state, but before we get started, I do want to run across a few things with you just so you can keep in mind before we watch and see what this state has to offer. Uh, you're going to see a lot of dumb laws, yes, but you're also going to see a lot of BS laws. Absolutely a lot of bullshit happening, um, but there are laws out there that will have truth to them. Now, a lot of the ones that do have truth to them tend to have, you know, like an, a much older era setting. And uh, like from, I mean, we're talking 100, 150, 200 years ago. And if you're, you know, possibly wondering why they could be still on the books. Well, it's a long process to actually remove a law because a law is not singly, you know, it's not just wrote on the book on it by itself. It is a part of a bill. So, which is included with a variety of other things. So then they have to get in the lawyers, they have to rewrite the whole thing. They have to re go through reviews, voting, and you can get actually end up getting something way worse happening in your area as opposed to the thing that was just because. So a lot of times people just kind of like let it go and it's not enforced because they know it's morally wrong or whatever. Now, uh, then there's like overly exaggerated laws that'll happen a lot too, where somebody will be like, oh, you can't harass a Sasquatch, you know, or, uh, you can't shoot a fucking whale in Tennessee. There's a good one. And, uh, the, these are, you know, th they're basically taking the most extreme possibility out of an actual law and saying, well, technically that does count. And technically, I guess they're right, but they're technically an asshole for stretching it. However, Bravo for it. Anyways, but still. Now, uh, so don't take them too deep to heart by any means. Uh, I don't know. With all that being said, I hope you enjoy. And now let's see what they got. All right, so we're getting us started here with part three for round two of California. Uh, men who wear mustaches are forbidden from kissing women. Uh, I'm pretty sure we read that back in the day in the original one, in the original Dumb Laws for California. One must seek written permission from the director of public works before playing baseball in a city park. Jesus, that sounds stupid. Uh, it shall be unlawful to throw or hit or knock any baseball with a ball bat or any other instrument or engage in or play the game of baseball in any other manner on any city park or playground without first obtaining written permission to do so from the director of public works. <clears throat> Stupid. So like, <sighs> damn, for the purpose of this section, the term baseball shall mean any ball having a circumference of less than 11 inches and a weight less than six ounces. They get pretty specific here. Um, it maybe depending on whatever city it is, because you know, of course, they don't tell us what damn city. Uh, it's just a city, apparent city ordinance in uh, California somewhere. But maybe it's overpop, you know, not overpopulated, but like it has a large population. So they're going to, uh, you know, if they're if they have games going on on a regular basis, they're probably just don't want people showing up at certain ball fields and occupying the field and then them having to argue, you know, well, we're already playing a game here. Blah, blah. I can kind of see that out here in these rural areas. Nobody gives a damn. But then again, if there's a game starting, you have to clear the field, too. So it's kind of common knowledge. Well, I guess there's just probably enough people out there acting like jerks to where it got this law pushed in. Dumb law. Maybe, maybe it was never even a problem. Maybe there's something else connected to the law that they slipped in, you know, behind her, you know, under the table that she didn't know about. I like to do that a lot. Persons may not sleep on a road. It shall be unlawful and an infraction for any person to lie or sleep on any sidewalk, street, alley, or other public place in the city. Again, I I, mean, I could probably figure out, find out if I uh, googled out this uh, the. The code and the subsection, whatever, then the ordinance, blah, 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 passed. I could probably figure out what city it's in, but, man, that would take a lot more time in these episodes. And we've already taken a lot of time. But just saying, you know, I don't know. Maybe you could, uh, maybe if it really so much interests you. 
Uh, waitresses are not allowed to consume drinks bought by her customers. Well, that sounds really gender-directed. Shit, it is. It is really gender-directed. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, section B. Uh, girls. Prohibited. <laughs> Just the ladies. No employee shall accept or solicit for herself or herself drinks of alcohol beverages from any customer at the place where he or she is employed. What the fuck? Now, now that law doesn't even make sense for he or she is employed, but some, it's, it's for girls. Girls prohibited, but, you know. You tell me. Like, I'm sorry, that's written stupidly. <laughs> that is a dumb law. Definitely. At least how it's written, it's dumb. And if it's anything close to, like, if it's verbatim by any means, yeah. Stupid. Fucking dumb. Pinball machines are outlawed, as well as mock horse racing games. Gambling. I don't know why that's a shock, but yeah, I mean, I, I do, I believe that they're, you know, were they one time used for gambling? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the little horse, the mock horse racing games, I mean, come on. Of course they're fucking, and then they're probably rigged at that. I mean, it's not like it's a randomized thing. It's probably got one person sitting there pulling the sticks along. Um, anyways, for the purpose of this chapter, the following words or fr and phrases shall have the meaning and shall be construed as here and after or set forth. I love it when they start off. Any game similar to a marble game means be alley. Alley and my other miniature mechanical bowling game device or any other my and my in any uh, by whatever name called any table. So cabinet mechanical device. Yeah, they're talking about old gambling machines. A pinball machine falls into that. Sorry. At one time they used them as gambling devices. That's why they're probably looped in there. Sandboxes are not, and you know, again, you know, if you really want the, you know, it costs money to have these dumb walls that, you know, that were applicable at a certain time, you know, to be removed off the books, which really there, there should be some type of a process I would think that, you know, would be good for to like almost nullify a law to not so much take it off the books. But again, it's still going to have to be voted and taken, you know, so it's still a costly procedure, regardless how if you screw with the uh, if you want to rewrite it or change it, it's going to cost. And it's going to cost the people. So. Let's see. Sandboxes may not be used as ashtrays. Nice. Nice. Sandboxes may not <laughs> keep it classy. Keep it classy, California. Uh, prohibition. Uh, B. It shall be unlawful for any person to dispose of cigarette butts, cigar butts, or any other tobacco-related waste within a playground or tot lot sandbox area. What a dick. <laughs> that's not real. You know what? No, that's not, that's not a dumb fucking law. Yeah, you shouldn't be putting your cigarettes and you're leaving your cigar butts, whatever, in a kid's sandbox. Screw you. Now, I would have accepted, gladly accepted, a dumb law stating something like, uh, it's illegal for cats to shit in a sandbox. That would have been a dumb law. But no. No. It has to be something practical. So I don't understand. We're already back to uh, not dumb laws. There's a lot of not dumb laws in this. One may not use one's own restroom if the window is open. State law? <laughs> Urination and human waste. No person shall urinate or defecate on property, on private property, in any area exposed to the public view, or on any public street, sidewalk, alley, park, or other public place, except in a public or private restroom. Public or private restroom? What? <laughs> so, um, I can kind of see where they get the uh, impression of, uh, you can't open a window or uh, have uh, the curtains open, I guess. Lip, raise the blinds. I don't know. That, that sounds a little absurd. It is illegal to plant a garden in any public street. Uh, like a median? Would that count? Because, <laughs> fuck it. How are you going to keep a garden in a public street? I'm just... Uh, plowing cultivation in streets. It shall be unlawful for any person to plow any portion of 
an open public street, avenue, or alley in the city, except for the purpose of gardening. Except it is illegal to plant. Wait, hold on. Except for the purpose of gardening at the same, under authority duly had and obtained from the city council. No person shall cultivate, sow, or plant therein. <sighs> There in any where'd you go? Where'd you go? Any vegetable or truck garden. I don't know what a truck garden is, but anyways, is that like where you collect vehicles in your front yard? A truck garden? We got a lot of people out here to do that. Anyways, I I don't know. Like, are you plowing the fucking street, really? But I mean, you can do it if you, so long as you're growing a garden and it's okayed, I guess, by the city. It's all right, officer. Calm down. I got my permit right here to plow my freaking street up. And it sounds pretty ridiculous all around. Driving a herd of cattle down a street is against the law. Driving animals on streets prohibited. It shall be unlawful to drive herd or cause to be driven or herded upon any public street alley, sidewalk, or public place of the city, any cattle, horses, mules, hogs, sheep, or goats. So, no running with the bulls out in Cali this year. Or probably any year. Maybe that's why. Seems like such a fun game. Bowling uh, on the sidewalk. Who the fuck is, I mean, like, that, that's gotta be, that's definitely right here is a, a old western law, by the way. The whole driving of cattle. And they're talking about, like, not just don't run. Because those little old towns or whatever, maybe even through the cities, period. Back in the day, like, if you show up with cattle, don't fucking run them through the street, dick. <laughs> uh, it would be like running with the bulls all of a sudden. Uh, bowling on the sidewalk is illegal. <sighs> Prohibited it shall be unlawful for any person in the city to play baseball or any other game upon any street, sidewalk, lane. Or alley. They have, uh, any game? Really? Like, we used to play hockey, street hockey all the time. You know, rubber bouncy ball, you know. We would try to always make sure there wasn't really any cars around. Um, I don't know, I mean, I had a per pretty big driveway, too, where we could usually uh, play in there if we needed. But, yeah, I used to play in the road all the time. I mean, I'm not saying go play in the road nowadays, because nowadays someone's looking at their cell phone, and they're going to run your ass over, so don't do that. But, uh, nah, that is kind of silly. Like, no games whatsoever, man. We used to have fun running around the streets when we were kids. It was a different time, though. <laughs> it is illegal to own a green or smelly animal hide. Like, green isn't rotten? Hides. It shall be unlawful for any person to keep, store, or have in his possession any green hide or any hide giving off an offensive odor. I'm not a taxidermist, okay? I'm not, I'm not a hunter. I don't skin things. I don't, I don't have hides around here. Yeah, but I'm wondering, like, if you don't treat it, would that, you know, definitely, I would imagine if you don't treat it with something, it would probably get pretty funky. So, uh, maybe that's what they're referring to. I could be wrong. Could be right. Who knows? If you know, let me know in the comment section. One must obtain a permit from the city to throw hay in the cesspool. In a cesspool. What? Pro why would... I don't know. I'm, why would you throw hay in a cesspool? Prohibitations. It shall be unlawful for any person in the city to throw into or deposit upon any public street, uh, highway, or grounds, or any private premise premises... Any garbage or filth also to empty or throw or deposit in any cesspool or manhole or flushing hole of any sewer within the city. Any glass. Where are we at? Any glass, broken wires, hay, straw, dirt, rubbish, garbage, waste matter, filth, butcher's o offal. Butcher's offal, probably, I guess, the leftover parts. Well. Uh, or branches of trees. Where do I'm gonna shove this fucking branch down the sewer? <laughs> it's in my yard. I want to hear. Uh, sorry. Uh, or to contract or 
to or obstruct the channel of any creek in the city ex, uh, except by permit of the city council. Hey, can I get a permit to shove this fucking tree branch in the sewer drain right here? Can I, please? How much is that? $100? I was just about to say, that would be a great price on that $100. That'd be great. All dog waste must be removed from any yard within seven days. I, I'm sure there's some places that where there's people that just absolutely ignore that. And then I'm sh- sure there's some places that uh, are just, uh, you know, very strict about such a thing. I don't know. Maybe they got, they got the time to pay attention to when the last, how long a dog a pile of dog shit was in your yard. <laughs> Removal of materials between January 15th through May 15th during a period of January 15th to May 15th each and every year. It shall be unlawful for any person to permit any animal or foul manner excrement or other fly breeding material to remain on or at his premises for a period. Okay, so they're talking about keeping down flies, I guess. So make sure you clean up your yard, or we'll have to come give you a ticket. Yeah, that sounds that sounds that, that sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds about right. One may not bring their dog to school. Son of a bitch! What? What if it's a service animal? That's got to be in there still. Dogs at public schools prohibited. No person shall bring any dog except an official city, county, or other law enforcement agency police dog or service working dog. So they include that, the whole, like, uh, law enforcement thing. So, like, when they can come through and they can sniff your lockers to see if you've uh, brought something to school. Mm -hmm. I used to do it back when I was young, too, back in high school. Lockdown. It was always like right after lunch too. They'd wait for you to get back, and then they'd be like, "Lockdown." Freaking lame. We don't have anything when we came back from lunch. It was all gone. Losers. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, open campus back in the day was sweet. Uh, as that term defined in the Americans with Disabilities Act. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, service animals included. I mean, really, though, is there any other reason why you need to have your dog at school? Hmm. I don't know. I could see it being more of a law saying, yes, you are absolutely allowed to have a service dog, a service animal. Uh, but, you know, I don't see too many service cats. So I'm not trying to be, you know, judgmental or, you know, trying to be like the service dog. But, you know, you don't see too many service goats, service horses, you know. That'd be fun. <laughs> if we started opening that door to a whole lot more. <laughs> this is my fucking service goat. Smash. <laughs> Anyways, having too much fun with that. Persons are not, may not ride their bicycles through the fountain of life. <sighs> Biking. Biking is prohibited in the fountain. <laughs> this rule is intended to protect all persons using the fountain, including, but not limited to adults, teenagers, Oh, wait a minute. Is this one of those fountains that's like coming out of the ground? It's it's flat and people can just walk around. So, yeah, I can actually see why you don't ride your damn bike through it. Because, you know, if it's spraying up, you may not see it. You run over a kid. Uh, and then you try to dip out like a prick. It happens all the time. But, uh, yeah, no, I can see that. Uh, limit to adults, teenagers, adolescents, supervised minors, and unsupervised minors from falling, slipping, and causing... Or suffering from foreseeable injuries that are typically associated with biking in wet areas. Hell, I could just see, you know, you smashing into somebody. <laughs> and they don't see you and you don't see them because the water fountain. Yeah, I could see that. Keep your fucking bicycle out of the fountain, asshole. That's stupid. It is. You know what? Go get a slip and slide and ride that around in circles in your backyard. There you go. There's your fountain. It is prohibited to sleep in a parked vehicle. Now, that's kind of stupid. I mean, like, anywhere? (laughs) That's kind of dumb. Sleeping in vehicles prohibited in public places. No person shall sleep in any automobile or other vehicle parked on any sidewalk, street, alley, or other public place, including any approved private street or right-of-way within the corporate limits of the city. Wow, it just sounds like a, a, an easy reason for them to chase you around and be like, nope, you can't stay here, you can't stay here, you can't stay here. <laughs> well, now I'm just going to take you to jail because you won't stop fucking doing it. Or here's a ticket, I don't know. Probably here's a ticket. 
obviously you're sleeping in your car you know there's probably you know good reason whether it's your hard times or you know you're on a long drive and you're trying to get some rest usually you'd have a rest area and i wouldn't think they would fuck with you there but still uh no we're gonna give you a ticket just to make your day worse nice thanks <laughs> also go find somewhere else <laughs> Ducks have the right of way to cross Rancho Florida Street at all times. All times. Ducks have the right of way. Fucking A. That's that's the law, apparently, with no backing up of, like, unlike. We got actually a few of them here. Nice. You may not play precision or percussion. <laughs> precision. You may not play percussion instruments on the beach. Why? <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Getting dry over here. It is illegal to have more than two cats or dogs. Ordinance. 78595. I mean, it's nice that they put that in there. I'm going to guess it's a city ordinance. Probably not so much a county ordinance. Thanks for leaving your city, though. It is illegal to wipe one's car with used underwear. Like your own car or just like anybody? I could see like being a dick thing to do to someone else's car, but <clears throat> I just don't know. That doesn't. It's fucking stupid. Uh, it is illegal to pile horse manure more than six feet high on a street corner. Just more than six feet. You can so long as you keep it below six feet. You're good. Elephants are prohibited from strolling down Market Street unless they are on a leash. It's a big fucking leash. <laughs> Persons classified as ugly may not walk down any street. I know there's a couple of you out there. I'm going to report you if I see you out again. Uh, it is illegal to shoot jackrabbits from the back of a streetcar. Wait, like a fucking trolley? <laughs> Where the fuck is jackrabbits at? Where is the corresponding, like, area where you're, like, going along and they're like, oh, there goes the jackrabbits. I got one, Paul. I mean, the fuck? Are we still for California here? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I mean, okay. The owners of, of horses, or ugh, horses, the owners of houses with Christmas lights on past them, uh, on them past February 2nd may be fined up to $250. That's a dick move. That's a dick move. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I, I like to see the lights up. I don't know. It's very uh, fucking $250. Take your lights down. Being a dick. Uh, no, quit being a dick and like finding someone $250 because you don't like the way their house looks. One may not carry a lunch down the street between 11 and 1 o'clock. I remember that one as well from the original Dumb Laws series. Uh, motor vehicles may not drive on the city streets unless a man with a lantern is walking ahead of it. Or I'm going to... Uh, that doesn't make sense. What? That doesn't make sense. I mean, somebody tried to manipulate this and they made it sound ridiculously stupid just because it's not... Motor vehicles may not be driven. I was going to say perhaps they're referring to like a carriage of sort in town. Where you have where it needs to be led by a man with a lantern, so people can see you, I guess at night. Um, but yeah, I don't know that that's motor vehicles. Like that makes no sense. You're obviously gonna be crawling faster than somebody walking. So eh. I think somebody's got their wording mixed up there. Two bathtubs may not be installed in the same house. I wonder if that's a city, county. I, I I know that's not a state, but I am curious to know what kind of what city or county that's in. That would be cool to know because that's kind of a weird, ridiculous one. It is illegal for a secretary to be alone in a room with her boss. <laughs> if you ever watch uh, some of the videos, you know, on the internet, I've seen a lot, a lot of videos where they <laughs> it happens. <laughs> I don't know. It probably does happen. It's probably where the idea came from. <laughs> It is illegal to walk a camel down Palm 
Canyon Drive between the hours of 4 and 6 p.m. I wonder if I can get one of my friends to rent a camel. Get it on over there and record this occurring just so we can test this law. We don't have any backing on this. We have no, you know, for certainty that it is illegal on just this Palm Canyon Drive. I don't even know where that is. That could be like a long ass road. It could be like a block and a half. I don't know. Next one. You know what? Why not? Molesting butterflies can result in a $500 fine. Molesting butterflies. What they're talking about is like, I guess if you're going out and you're catching butterflies and you're like, whack, you know, catch them with the net and you're freaking, I guess that would be considered molesting butterflies. Where? I'd love to know again, but <laughs> roosters may not crow in the city limits. Okay. In the city limits. That would be kind of a dick thing to have. Yeah. Uh, I, I, when I lived out in the country, it was probably about a quarter mile or so down the road. Maybe. Maybe not even that far. But the neighbors had a damn rooster. And you'd hear that son of a bitch. So I can only imagine what a nuisance it would be. Uh, it, it's probably not so much. Maybe. It might be directly roosters. It may be just uh, referring to uh, in a certain uh, noise ordinance. Like saying certain things are not allowed. And the rooster just happens to fall into uh, category. It is illegal for a man it is illegal for a man to beat his wife with a strap wider than two inches without her consent. Now I'm really torn here. Is this like some kind of like BDSM thing or are we talking like a law that fucking uh you know, I've heard this this uh, law of like from the South, you know, like, oh, you can uh, on Sundays, you know, one Sunday of the month or something. That's one that I've heard repeatedly. And it's different versions. But for some reason, I've never really kind of found the actual uh, or well, I guess I haven't really sought it out too. but there'd be a good straightforward episode for a, a law, I guess, to see if that's an actual real fucking law, because I've heard so many like examples and you know their own uh, personal opinion of how the law what they think it is but it never has any uh information to back it up so maybe we'll have to check into that at a time it is legal to cry on the witness stand bitch quit your crying <laughs> oh you you knew the consequences you knew fat tony was gonna come get you actually i guess that'd be more like in a new york kind of big tony sorry didn't mean to call you you mean to call you fat, Tony? I love you, man. <laughs> um, zoot suits are prohibited. Uh huh. This law dates back to the 30s and 40s, especially during World War II. At the time, high end fabric was scarce thanks to war effort, and zoot suits, with their immense use of fancy fabric, were seen as unpatriotic. Zoot suits were primarily worn by Hispanics, known as Ponchos or Paco, pa, pa, Pacos, Pachus, son of a bitch. <laughs> Hence the swing song, Hey Paco. Is Am I saying that right? Am I saying it wrong? Son of a bitch. Uh, well, that's pretty fucked up. Zoot suits are fucking prohibited. I wonder, so that sounds, I mean, the way they phrase that, that would almost make it sound like that's a state law. Huh. I mean, obviously something that's probably not even thought of or even close to being enforced or recognized today because no reason for, but uh, you cannot bathe two babies in the same tub at the same time. Okay. It is a crime for dogs to mate within 500 yards of a church. Breaking this law is punishable by a fine of 500 and or... S $500 or uh, six months in prison. For who? The dogs? Wait. <laughs> who the fuck is going to jail here? I mean, the church? Are they going? Are they coming after the padre? You know, I, mean, or, well, I don't know if the padre or what, but, but still, the preacher, whoever that's in the church or whatever, fucking, uh, you have dogs out here humping, uh, $500 or you're going to jail for six months. Yeah. 
don't worry, just pull it out of that collection plate, you know, savings you got there. No, that untaxed fucking, yeah, there you go. Uh, maybe that has something more to do with it, and we can't tax them, so we'll just fucking come up with a goofy, stupid law <laughs> to randomly accuse them of. <laughs> well, I seen a couple dogs out here humping, and uh, you weren't spraying them with the hose, so uh, here's your $500 ticket. Have a good day. Mm-hmm. You may not hunt moths under a street light. Who the fuck is hunt hunting moths? What do you hunt a moth for? What? It, uh, toads may not be licked. <laughs> don't lick the back of the fucking toad. All right, you don't know which toad that is exactly. Stop. All right, and that that's that's something we've seen in TV shows and movies. So that's not even a certain thing. Don't do that. Uh, the toad that is uh, referenced in this law uh, secretes a drug-like poison that some people were looking to get high. <laughs> Wonder which toad, though. They never tell you which toad, those sons of bitches. Um, cars, are only, uh, cars are the only item allowed in a garage. No, 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 hold on, we're not going to start repeating shit, are we? Because like that was literally like the first law in part one. Like, it, but that was like for San Francisco, I believe. And then, uh, as I asked somebody later on, the, it, it had to do with uh, uh, they, they insist that your car is in your garage. They want you to keep your garage cleared out, most likely, because it helps keep the streets clear if you have a garage. For those people who don't have garages, I guess, you know, it would make practical sense. They're basically saying don't clutter your garage to the point that you're not able to park your vehicle in it. All right, everybody. The next uh, California round is probably going to be a short and sweet one. It's going to be probably going pretty quick. There's only a couple pages of this left. And then we're on to Colorado after this. So thanks for coming and checking it out. I hope you enjoyed. Get baked, stay baked all day, every day. From the grave to the grave, I'm Grave Knives. Peace, everybody. <laughs>